I built Maha Devi Bot, which was my first robotic drummer. And then I had my sitar with all the sensors. And basically, Maha Devi Bot would not perform. It would be completely silent unless it hears me play. <laughs> also make decisions about what it would be playing based on what pitches I'm playing and, and what type of intervals I'm playing. So it's, it's, it's a very cool, you know, proof of concept, like, okay, that there's a human computer interaction going on. I don't know what it's going to do. So I'm just sitting there, like, on the edge of my seat, like, playing, and then it does something, and then I'm like, okay, and then it does something. So it's kind of like, it's, it's very surprising. It's never the same any time. I could never do the piece the same twice because I never know what it's going to do. And I'm listening to it, otherwise it's not really music. I was a drummer in a jazz band for many years, but at a certain point, you know, I was very limited by what I could do. There was only so many things. Like, I was the type of drummer that would hit, you know, the, the edge of the drums hit the, you know, the, the, the mic stands, like hit all these weird things because I, I just wanted to make new sounds. But when I started learning computing, I realized that I can now make all these new sounds with the use of a computer and my instrument can morph into something that it's, it's never been before. And that's, that's what's been really exciting. So it all started out with wanting to do Indian frame drums, um, getting these type of sounds. And then it started to move upwards. No piece is bigger than two feet, which is exactly what fits in a suitcase. You know, I found this bar in the junkyard, you know, I you know, found, you know, a bunch of different parts at a hardware store and it kind of was like, okay, this is what it can do. I finished the system of my sitar working with Maha Devi Bot, so I had one robot, one instrument, but I, again, just like the drum set, I realized that I wanted to go further than just that, and I realized that I wanted to turn it into an orchestra. I've never been so nervous for a show because, you know, there were, what, 12 computers running? Any one can be knocked out and the show's over. It's almost like you have to pray that everything's going to work out. And there are all these robots now, like, flying in the air. You know, what if a part, like, falls off and, like, hits the dancer in the face? Like, you know, it's like so many things can go wrong. So it's, it's just amazing to, to, to make it work. always have this process that I'm going to build an instrument and then I'm going to book a show like in four months I'm going to be on stage with this thing so I'm basically putting a gun to my own head I think everything is always in beta <laughs> I think that's the difference is that it's so experimental it's always this constant battle of you know learning and, and putting on concert but it's, it's incredible, and I'm totally sold. And now I want to bring Machine Orchestra to Broadway. That's basically the plan. Like, how, how do we push in that direction? Mm -hmm.